National Football League. The spotlight's on. Time to stake your claim for the NFL. They defer the Colts will receive. Zach Pastor from Old Dominion sent to return the Fair Baron kick. And it will be his 59th touchback of the year for Kaimi. So Andrew Luck. His seventh playoff game, he says most of this season has been pressure football. It feels like it's been the postseason for us for a while now, and I don't think anybody's approach will change just because we're in the dance. Uh, we're certainly excited, and for us, that means focusing on the process, making sure we're getting better today, and excited for that opportunity. He's excited for this opportunity. He's going to need to play big. Look for them to get the ball out quick to start this game and eliminate that pass rush of the Houston Texans. And he does get it out quickly. He's deflected it first, but then into the hands of Marlon Mack, right at the line of scrimmage. Well, Andrew Watt finished second in the NFL with 39 touchdown passes. Second behind Patrick Mahomes and the superb 50 that he put up for Kansas City. The career high numbers. The top comeback player of the year candidate. 28 year old. They didn't take the Colts long. They got their jumbo package out there. That's really what they like to run the ball with. That is Joe Hayne, the extra lineman on the left side. And Matt is tackled for a loss. Who else but JJ Watt? Well, JJ knew that he was going to line up there. He said that's where they want to run behind. Is this jumbo tight end? He shoots the gap, but he'll penetrate inside. He'll play the back door like we just saw right there. He is so aggressive getting in the backfield. It's tough to defend him. Not only is it just a pass rusher, but in the run game too. And here's a down if you're the Houston Texans that you want to make sure you come off the ball. Pass rush. If I'm the Indianapolis coach, I locate number 99 and number 90. They're the playmakers in the pass rush for the Texans. Third and 12, the Texans, the worst defense this year in giving up third and 10 and more. Colts were number two offense converting that. Love drives the ball right to the stick to make to T.Y. Hilton. And just as we said, that unique matchup of third and 10 plus, that was a third and 12. And you see the difference between these two teams. Well, the Andrews just got so much confidence in going to T.Y. Hilton. He runs a little bite route. He sells that corner. He comes back. And the Houston Texans, good job putting them into third down. But you have got to capitalize. You cannot leave T.Y. Hilton one-on-one -on, -one on third down. Notice how much time Andrew Luck had. We talked a lot about the pass protection. Only 18 sacks all year. He looked very comfortable just now. As Matt goes ahead behind that. 
much improved offensive line for Indianapolis. Yeah, and it starts with Quentin Nelson, the all-pro left guard. He brings the mentality up front. They need to stop this defensive line. They have to run the football, establish it. That's tough going against the Texans because they're one of the top teams in the league. But everything the Colts offense wants to do, play action, get it to T.Y. Hilton, stretch the field, comes off that running game. So if they can be efficient with it, look for Andrew Luck.